expecting marginalized people to disregard their own emotions to calmly educate you is the epitome of entitlement. And I think whoever wrote that hit it right the nail on the head because that's exactly what it is. It's a sense of entitlement and people think that they're you know, above other people so it's okay for people to treat marginalized and in this case indigenous people in the wrong way and it's simply wrong. It's hurtful and it's not doing us any, any good at all. Society, you know, we as a nation need each other and uh, we're not going away anywhere. Um, in fact, more people are coming in. So the faster we learn about tolerance and respect for each other, the, the better we all will become as a nation. I hope people uh, will realize that we do have a voice and we will speak out sometimes and um, there's going to be more of us. There's thousands of us that, that have this experience and have this ability and we're going to speak out more. And I think um, I'm proud of our people because it, we're, we are getting stronger and we are standing up for our, ourselves. And, and even in, in situations like this where it seems like it's not a big deal, it is a big deal. I would never want my mother or my sisters or my daughters or my, you know, the men in my family to ever feel um, disregarded just because they're Indigenous. And so it shouldn't uh, be right if, if someone makes me feel that way. And if I, I have the ability to say something, I, I am and I, I will. And it's not funny, it's, it's a serious situation. And if people are so ignorant not to learn history on their own, um, then they, they'll, they'll meet people like me to tell them that this is not right.